Ladies and gentlemen, I welcome you back to another episode of Cult of the Lamb here on the channel. In the last one, managed to go through Anchor Deep just one more time. Actually got the eye of the witness, learned about a new area that we're actually going to go visit first called Smuggler Sanctuary. Uh, that's the area where we have collected two eye of the witness for. We're going to use that uh, in that area here specifically. But in my off time, I went ahead for the cult of SCG at least. Decided to make some changes here, add a couple of things as well. Uh, just try to keep things moving, shaking the bag, and of course, uh, trying to keep the cult happy while at the same time trying to keep things accomplished as well. But let's go ahead and let's collect our divine inspiration here. And over here, we now, you see that all oh, my off time, uh, I think, I don't remember if this was the end of last episode or my off time uh, after that, but we are now, can now unlock a new divine inspiration for cult three, which will allow us to upgrade the temple and the shrine. You collect more devotion, allow more followers to pray. Once that's unlocked, the entirety of level three is unlocked. The cult has been upgraded, so now instead of 70 devotion, we can now collect 90. So let's go ahead and collect that real quick. I do believe I still have to conduct a sermon and such. Let's just uh, make sure and see, just so that way I'm not missing anything. No, I think I'm good, but let's go ahead and upgrade the crown real quick as well. I got five of these things, so it's like on my off, on my, uh, off time, trying to upgrade the island and whatnot, inspire my cult leader, or not leaders, my followers. Uh, let's see. You know what? We haven't done possessions in a while. Exalt, exaltation of the self or of the devoted. So alms for the poor, which you perform a ritual at the temple, which you distribute all loyal followers to increase their loyalty. Uh, you will also gain 10 plus faith when you give them your own gold. Or you could perform a ritual at the temple in which all followers donate to you. So enrichment or for the poor. Enrichment or poor. Let's be a nice cult leader and give our gold whenever necessary. I'm not going to conduct it as of yet because I have a feeling one of my followers will ask that as a quest. There you go. Beautiful. Doctrine wise, this is why I have unlocked. So you can, well, I'll probably rename, no, I probably won't even rename the cult. Uh, let's see. Belief in afterlife, resurrection, got that. Inspire, uh, yep, this is the new one that we got. I believe in absolution, yeah, we got that already. Cannibal, ritual to harvest, yes. Now, the thing about the crown is that I can't, you have to, it is on cooldown essentially. You can't just go back and be like, oh, you got more than one? No, you have to wait. Fortunately, it's not too long. I think, like, maybe after crusade or something, if you had a, a decent crusade session. But, uh, yeah, let's collect our stuff in the meantime. We got a couple of crypts here to store bodies in case uh, someone dies. Let's go ahead and cook something real quick. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay. Remember, you want to make sure you cook it in the green bar. If it's in the red, you burn the food and you waste the materials. Now, let's go ahead and visit that smuggler's sanctuary. Over here to the left. Here we are. You! Listen, Mutton Chop, you owe me a ship. The bishops are nasty pieces of work, but they do a good enough job of keeping the waterways open and trade flowing around here. But with you going around killing them, it opens the gates for all sorts of monstrous beasts to start sinking my stock. <coughs> Scary things they be, with gnashing teeth and odiferous stinks in a space that could curdle milk. Good lord. My nose is so just like me mother-in-law. Ah, 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 ah. So you best be making this right. Each time a bishop dies, a nasty beast called the witness takes his place. Lucky for ye, Plimbo knows folks will pay a pity penny for the, for the eye of a witness. You get me their eyes, I buy a new bolt, we'll call it square. 
All you need to do is return the places you killed the bishop, defeat the ferocious beast that has emerged, and bring me their eyes. Simple enough. This was the areas where the enemies have gotten stronger, where the game had told you your enemies have gotten stronger and the witnesses that we fought. But now that we got two of the four, because there's one for every bishop. About time! Look at this squishy thing! They say these creatures have seen all there is to see and stood in silent judgment for millennia. Just like me mother-in-law! Ah, ah, ah. Here, take this. Found it on me travels. Me, not to me, but a crown bearer might have some use for it. Three more to go! Yep, two more pieces to make that complete. Just give me one second. And we are back. Alrighty, so to check out Smuggler Sanctuary, we have, well, let's give another eye to witness real quick. Let's give him that second one, why not? You got another eye. Plimbo is starting to see your appeal. Ha! Truly, safety and security is something Plimbo takes seriously, especially me line of business. But I could never bow me head to another. Two more to go. Thank this as a token of me. Thanks. I forgot about. I pushed the button a little too fast. One more of those, and we can unlock a new fleece ability that we can wear. But we have over here some follower forms that we can buy, of course. We could show off the unlocked follower forms that we have so far from where we're collecting our adventures. DLC, Darkwood. We have four more in Darkwood we need to get. Five more in Anur we need to get. Anchor Deep few more silk cradle haven't gotten there yet but will soon so let's go ahead and tickle this fish here as the prompt ex uh, shows here a new relic unlock kudai's fingernail summon a new weapon with an increased level relic can be useful for the crusade if you're stuck with a weapon you don't really like or not really good with so we can make an offering here. Yeah, in each in each section of the areas where you can travel to, there's this one snail here where you can make an offering and you just go and do it for each individual one. So there's one in a lonely shack. There's one in uh, <clears throat> uh, the fishing area. There's one smuggler sanctuary. There's I think we still have to uh, visit a couple more. But yeah, we also have here the paths, uh, flooring, stuff like that that you can buy. Whatever you don't find during the Crusades, they will be here on sale. That's much like your tarot cards as well. And then, of course, we have this one area, which it needs to be nighttime for in order to uh, to get going. But let's go ahead and actually do that right now while we can. So Pilgrim's Passage, Spore Grotto, Smuggler Sanctuary. There's one more area we need to unlock, but we're not going to do it. We can't unlock it until we get into the next area. Uh, still cradle, but let's go to Pilgrim's pa Passage here real quick. Uh, what'd you say? The lighthouse has Pilgrim's Passage. Nothing seems to be changing around here, which is nice, which is nice. So we came in here previously. Oh, Lamb of the Light, may I beseech your aid uh, once more for your aid? The lighthouse is in disrepair. We need to replace the crystals that reflect the light out to sea. Would you? Could you? Find such material for us. We know not where to look, but should you succeed, we will give you an offering in return. So, of course, initially we helped them out. Excuse me. Uh, so we got that. Uh, crystals here. So. Beautiful. Okay, so follower quest. Oh, we do have a follower quest for a wedding, uh, wedding ritual. Uh, this one here, uh, da, 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 listen. We are stored to place all this shining glory. As I swore, here's our offering of praise the Lamb. Okay. Did I miss something? Okay. Well, we got our everything set here. The fellow outside, the fisherman, something off. Okay. I think we might have completed it beforehand. Okay, but yeah, you give us some crystals, <clears throat> wood, and stuff like that. There we go, enough crystals, and bam, there you go. Nighttime now. Let's go ahead and make our way towards the bottom, peer into the darkness. A little lamb, all alone. Careful, you never know what lurks in the nights. And yet, I feel no, smell no fear on you. 
How curious. Ah, I see. You wear the red crown. I knew your predecessor. He was a weak and cowering thing. Not like you, I should think. Little lamb, you've made a deal before. How about another? Fear not, I won't ask for anything as valuable as your eternal servitude. I'm hungry, starving, ravenous. I want a fish, a big fish, and I will give you something in return. Do you accept? Big fish. Ah, uh, let's see. Tuna. Or, no, swordfish. That's a big one. Clever creatures. Take this and look away, won't you? I'm afraid I'm a bit of a messy eater. You will not see me here again, but our paths will cross elsewhere in moments of chance in the cover of nights. There you go. Full uh, red crown medallion, holy talisman is complete. Now we do need to head back. There's an offering over here that we have to make. Minus one shell, but let's... Ah, oh, we're too late. Because, you see, in the Smuggler Sanctuary, what you have to do is go back in the Cloak of Nights, of course. As soon as this thing decides to load up. Can it load up? Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Smuggler Sanctuary, you're supposed to go over here at nighttime, and he'll give you another one, for sure. Uh, let's go over to... Thank you. Let's go over to the Lonely Shack. Let's go find that other snail. Should be to the far right, if I'm not mistaken. Yep. I must thank you. By relieving me of my duties, you have granted me what I desire most. Peace. Now that I've taught you everything you need to know, I can pass my days playing knuckle bones. I have friends on their way to join me for a game or two as we speak. A rowdy bunch to be sure, but now I am retired, I am free to enjoy myself. Here's another snail. Make the offering. And we can receive our devotion here. <coughs> Take the exit. We can come out to the right as well. Let's go to Spore Grotto real quick. I know I've been spending a lot of time on the outside world here. Uh, let's see. I believe he may be towards the back, if I'm not mistaken. Again, more places for you to buy your cards, uh, pathways, all that stuff. One over here. There's one more that we need to get, but not until Sail Cradle. Let's give him 20 Zozo Mushrooms. Or give Zozo 20 Mushrooms. Yes, yes! These will do just fine. Okay, Zozo will show you this ritual, but you must not show anyone. Stand back, or you will get brainwashed too. Brainwashing witch ritual. It's a brainwashing ritual. <laughs> Perform a ritual with your, at your temple that brainwashes all your followers. Faith will be locked at full for two days. Meaning you can do anything to discredit, uh, to reduce the faith as long as you want. But as long as they're controlled by the mushrooms. Done. As you can see now, Sozo's loyal followers are brainwashed. They will do whatever Sozo says for a few days and lose no faith in Zozo. But afterward, many of them will fall sick. But oh well. Now that you have seen, you can go to your temple and perform the ritual yourself. There we go. Alright. So now that we got that taken care of, let's go ahead and head back to the cult. Sweet. Everyone's here now. Increase our devotion. Or get our devotion all set here. Faith is at full at the moment, so we don't need to do anything else. Everyone looks pretty happy. I say let's go ahead and clean up a little bit. Alright. 
Give me one second while I collect all this. All right, we are back, and man, I had a glitch-tastic moment there for a second, but uh, we'll deal with that later on. Let's go ahead now, and let's make our way towards Crusade. Let's actually buy this follower real quick, because we're going to need a couple uh, for to go into Silk Cradle. Really appreciate you. And this is, I think, the last time that we have to go into, yep, one more battle in Anchor Deep, and we fight the bishop in this one. Be gone, beast. Find satisfaction elsewhere. You will not cross the threshold of my temple. And here we are. Oof. Hammer. Touch a tur Turua. All right, I'm gonna use. I, you can actually use control. I'm probably late in saying this. You can use actually the control stick or D-pad for movement. Like even though it's a 3D game, like for some reason I feel like the control stick bothers me. I'm much better with the 3D pad. Not 3D pad. D-pad. Just smack him over there. Bounce effects. Kill this last one. Boom. Oh, cauliflower, you see? We got ourselves some cauliflower. But yeah, these crystals were the one you're supposed to connect for the Pilgrim's Passage for that secondary quest, and I think you're supposed to give like 10 or 15 of them. But let's not waste any time. Let's just keep things moving, shaking and bake, and move on to these rooms here. A great thing... Ooh! Fucking rocks. I hate that shit so much. Because, like, it blends in with the environment. You're trying to escape some enemies, and then it's like, nope, you're stuck. And those things explode, and the explosion hurts, too. Sweet. Hopefully there's, like, a heart in one of these things, so that way I can get some, so I can get that shit back. Oh, I should have changed fleeces. Ah, uh, well, I'll do that in the next one. It's fine. Nope, nothing here. Cool. I got a lot of grass. And not talking about weed either. I'm talking like a lot of grass in this one. It can make a lot of grass bowls here. But uh, actually, you know what? Now that I can have uh, the f uh, brain wa washing, which oh, I can't even talk when I say that. It's like I sound like fucking Elmer Fudd. Uh, but the brain washing ritual. Say that five times fast. Uh... With that, if you don't have the Grass Eater ability, which allows you to not lose any faith when you eat a meal made from grass, uh, because now we have the Brainwashing one, uh, good strategy, actually good strategy in general before you go on a crusade, is to make sure you have the uh, ritual that allows your followers to not eat for three days, like their hunger will be locked, they'll be on a fast for three days. Combine that with the Brainwashing ritual, um... You can go on the Crusade for like two to three in-game days. And, you know, you don't have to worry about feeding them or anything like that. Maybe if, maybe you have to worry about the island being dirty as fuck or being shit and all sorts of stuff if you don't have people taking care of the island. But uh, it's a damn good strategy, especially if you're trying to go on the long Crusade for materials or if it's stuff that you need. And you really don't want to worry about... You know, your followers being hungry, dissenting because of it, followers dissenting because their faith runs too low. So, like I said, this is just more than a rogue game. This, whoa, that was close. This, you know, you have to take in, a, the time management is key in all this. So, you have to make sure that, you know, it's not just going in like, yeah, I'm going in all willy-nilly and just slash the shit out of everyone. No, it doesn't necessarily work that way. First area done. Mm. So it doesn't matter which way we go. We either have to go through one set of action stages or two. And let's just go ahead. I hope it's just a follower here where it's just plain follower, no fighting. Yes. Oh, he's angry. He angry the center. The leader of my cult is a coward. How can I respect someone who is too afraid to fight? Is your path blood and forge of fire, or do you believe in peace and kindness? 
now normally I would like to seek peace whenever possible because you know I don't I, I'm not a fan of war or anything like that but you know war another coward it seems like you're not the one I seek oh okay so if you don't pick peace he doesn't go with you and that's fine can I kill you no you're a pansy Look, I just answered what I thought what you would like, okay? Jesus Christ. Sound like an ex sound like an ex girlfriend or something. Jesus. Whoa, gold. Give me that gold. I needed that follower too, because it's like I need to get twelve followers in order to To access Silk Cradle, but uh, without the, then I like I got ten currently. Uh, I need two more. I have one following indoctrination, so that's gonna make it to eleven. But the problem is I have two old fucks that are ready to croak soon. So that's probably gonna drop down to eight or nine, which means I'm gonna have to follow. That's the one, ooh damn. That's the crazy thing about uh oh shit. Five becomes four, four becomes three, three becomes two, becomes one, becomes nothing. Calamaro always frightened of the red crown. Yes, feared made a coward of him. My door is the next to be knocked upon. Knock, knock, the lamb comes to raise. End of days, end of days. Fighting section here. All oh, these fucking spiders. Not a fan of these things. Yeah, they do. They bombard. All oh, these big ones, especially. And Gushin has died of old age. Fuck you. Okay. Nope. Swing once. Fuck the both of you. Took half my heart. Why you go ahead and do that for? Oh! Yeah, I was about to say, it's like, please don't let me go back and forth, especially with this fucking hammer. With how slow it swings. Like, yeah, it is power the most powerful weapon in the game. But holy shit, is it slow upon swinging. Tarot card. Receive double the health and healing, or enemies have a chance to drop fish. No, I want Fortune's Blessing. I need to heal. So half a heart turns into a heart. Whole heart turns into two, which is big. That's half your life bar right there. Without the exceptions of any additional hearts or anything like that, of course. Son of a bitch. Oh, I hate that. Please give me some hearts. I need hearts. My half of my health is down. Not a fan. Oh, these enemies are the worst. Get rid of this guy. Because he heals. Thank you. Got rid of him. One more. Beautiful. Sweet. Okay. Hopefully this is the last room. I guess not. I guess not. Son of a bitch. Oh, this. I'm dead. This is. F I'm dead. Jesus Christ. Okay, hold on. 
Are you fucking kidding me? I'm down. Okay, cool. Hearts, 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 hearts. That's a full, that's a half heart, so. At least the game was kind enough. Come on, give me another one, please. Give me another one. All right. Death sweep, devastating melee, knocks back your enemies. Recharge for increased power. Nah, let's try that. Yeah. I didn't have the Tura one. Come on. Okay. The bed has collapsed, so I gotta fix something as soon as I get back. Yeah, it's like that was one bad room earlier. All it takes is one bad room. Quest failed, son of a bitch. Okay, you know what? That's fine. You know what? Detonate all these first because I'm not trying to get surprised by a bunch of fucking... Alright, come on. Swing over. Damn it. Really? You're not dead yet. Now you're dead. Fuck off. Yeah, I didn't marry one of my followers as a side quest. I thought I had more time for that, but that's fine. That is fine. Come on, give me some health down here at least. Ooh, vampiric axe. Chance to heal the weird... Oh, okay, cool. Axe will work just as fine. I got some speed on me now, which is nice. A little more speed. Not too much, but... Better than what it used to be. Twice. Smack him. Beautiful. Woo! Beautiful. Nice. Just gotta learn. You gotta learn to avoid enemies. Enemy patterns, especially in later crusades, you're gonna have to be careful, and you have to learn some of the environments. Probably learn some of the room layouts because they're not always gonna be. Yeah, those things like to bum rush you, so you want to be careful. Come on, really? Only have one tarot card as well. Okay, so that's one. That's two. Avoid the bullets being dodged. That's all I care about right now. Now, I can go down, or I can move over to the right. All right, sweet. What do we got? Uh, plus one. Ah, uh, fuck the... F I don't care about the fish. I got plenty of fish and everything else in my other file. That's a lot of fish. As much as people hate that movie, I'm like one of the few people that actually love it. Ooh, stone tablet, uh, stone tablets uh, for the commandment stone, which is nice. Should be okay with that now. Oof. Oh no, another one died. Of de uh, uh oh. Here we are. Zeppar has died of old age, and oh my god, the faith of my flock is going to be... Thank goodness I got that brain wa wa brainwashing... You know what I mean. Insignificant critter. 
You will learn your place. You do not understand, Lamb. Heed my warning and stay away. Oh boy. Calamar, watch out. He's gonna swing. Get a couple shots, that'd be great. The spiders are gonna be a problem. So are the bullets. Oh, Jesus Christ! Ah, oh, fuck, man. Give me rid of the spiders, please, because those th Oh, my God. Fuck. Get out of the way, please. Why? Why I fucking run into that? Fuck! Okay, get out the way. Golly! This is going to be a tough son of a bitch. All right. Which one of you? I'm going to need all the hearts I can get for this one. So three, three. Sorry, Elagos. You got to go. Start dropping the curses. Okay, don't have any more curses to deal with, so let's just... Out the way, out the way, out the way. Dodge, dodge the attacks. Got to do a lot of dodging in this one. Fuck, 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 get out the way, get out the way. Oh, fuck, I am screwed. I am so damn screwed. Probably should have kept the hammer in all honesty. Why? Whatever. What the fuck ever. Ugh, okay. Man, I'm going to have to do all that fucking shit again. 16 minutes. God damn. All right. Everyone's asleep. Yeah, fucking. We're going to need. Yeah, I got to dissenter already. Hold on. What Can we start the day first? Because I'm not trying to. Actually, no. Let's do it right now while still. No, it's nighttime already, isn't it? Yeah, it is. I have a dissenter on the island, and we're going to prepare for a burial here. Fucking A. So we're just moving over to the crib, which is over here. Which is up here. Fan-fucking-tastic. All right, where's the bed? There we go. Fix that. Actually, they're all asleep. I, should, I probably should have uh, harvested it for meat. Ah, well. Don't matter at this point. We're going to find that center, lock him up. 
First of all, let's get what we can get here. Uh, grand shelter. Um, ritual cooldowns. Cooldowns by 50%. Very nice. Yeah, I'm unlocking that shit for sure. Sweet. Now it's going to take half the time in order for it to uh, do what it needs to do. Collect more of this here. Wait for everything else. Hurry up. I need for it to daytime. I need for it to be daytime already. So we're just going to wait here for just a small second. All right. Everyone is back up. Let's go ahead and preach that sermon. Oh, sh shut, shut your fucking face, guys. Yeah, now we're down to seven. Which is unfortunate, but, you know, it is what it is. Uh, let's go ahead and keep things moving, shaking and begging. Where is that the center? Let's imprison him. You want to be a fucking asshole? Re-educate the mind. He's not dead, Salios. Jesus. He's absolutely fine. Okay, let me finish up here, and then I'll see you guys back at the Calamar boss fight. All right, so we're back. Oof. So I ended up uh, I, I ended up getting some good luck on my side here when it comes to uh, some of the perks and tarot cards. I unlocked the... Oh, shit. You unlocked the capability to unlock two more hearts. Got a curse that allows... Shit, 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 shit. Oh, that's the curse that allows me to, f you know, fucking... Got him! Holy shit. Whew. Hold up. Fuck off. I ain't trying to have you kill me here. But yeah, I got ended up unlocking a tarot card with two more hearts. I got lucky with the blue hearts. Holy smokes, that was a rough battle. Second crusade, but it felt like a fifth. <laughs> I'll tell you that right now. Woo, baby. Acquired a Calamar trophy, a trophy for killing Calamar in Anchor Deep. Man, oh man. All the gold, the gold flooring. You are the leader, after all. Don't like that pattern, to be quite honest with you. Let's get the hell out of here. And we have to come back here for the Eye of the Witness. That's going to be a lot of fun. 20% on new items, defeated bishop bonus. Calamar was always a coward. This land is a better place. No, his pathetic, sniveling carcass is nothing more than a mound of rotting flesh. Soon I shall be freed and a world remade in my image. All will pledge themselves to the cult. All will bow to my name. Suffering shall turn to triumph. That which once did perish now sh shall now pray. Everybody's happy. So now that is the that's three out of the four bishops. It's nighttime. Let's just go ahead real quick and just collect everything while we're on here. And this time let's get ourselves 
mm, you know what, farmer station. Farmers will be able to harvest your crops and deposit them in a chest for you to collect. That will definitely be useful. So I will make sure to go ahead and... Whoop. I will go ahead and make sure to build that right now, actually, just real quick. It's on to one... Uh, there we go. One. Two. Beautiful. So now that's all set. When they wake up, everything should be hunky-dory. Just collecting more of the uh, assigned. Someone's sick. Someone is dissenting. Hold on. Let's go ahead and heal you real quick since I got the flowers. Huh. You are good, Bathin. You are so, so good. Whoop. Start cleaning it up. Well, okay, cool. Nobody saw that. That is wonderful. So now the flock members are going to go. Oh, I still got to build decorations. But let's just uh, add some of these for now. Re-educate the dissenter. You want to keep going with this as fast as you can with that. There we go. And then into the sermon. Get the sermons. We should have a new cooldown now. And we have a temple altar too, which means that every time we have a sermon, the followers will deposit gold into the uh, offering casket right there. That's not that's not an offering plate. That's a casket. All right, so let's go ahead and check out the crowns real quick. Of course, I got f plenty of fuck ton of these. Afterlife, let's show that off. I did get one else in between uh, Crusades. Respect your elders for Hollows Police plus, plus five for every elderly fo follower in the cult. Or good die young trait. All cult members will gain the good die young trait. Gain 10 faith in the elder. Sacrifice murder consume, but lose 20 if faith in elder dies naturally. Respect your elders, folks. You do not want to. You do not want the people to die when you're on the middle of the crusade. If you got multiple old people, yeah, that's not good. It only takes us like maybe three, three of them to really descend and four to probably just whatever. But yeah, let's go ahead and unlock a fleece here. Draw four tarot guards at the start of the run, but none can be drawn after. This is what you get for the uh, talisman that you collect, the four pieces of the talisman that you get. So now we unlock fleeces of the fate. I'm keeping that on. So we are good to go here. You can see now, boom, 22 gold. We're going to let that build a bit uh, while we're taking care of business. Uh, who... Okay, so we still got to the center. We got food. You know what? I think we're going to call it an episode here for Call to the Lamb. Yeah, everyone's doing their job. Everything's all hunky-dory. Let me go ahead and just stop real quick here. So... This is the end of the Halloween month on SGG, but this won't be the last end of the Cult of the Lamb. I'm going to take a temporary stop to this right now because I do not want this to go into December for it to be like, hey, Merry Christmas, Hail Satan, everybody, you know, and stuff like that. But I will be coming back to Cult of the Lamb. I will be recording more episodes. I really do love this game. But uh, yeah, so we're going to continue with our regularly scheduled programming. I do have some stuff set up for November and December. So look forward to that. And until the next one, do like to thank you guys for watching. Hope you have yourselves a fantabulous day. Love, peace, and chicken grease. Good night.